Welcome back to Anna Elaine. Today I'm doing a Valentine's Day tutorial for you. This isn't a sort of typical Valentine's Day tutorial where it's really like pink and colourful and kind of inspired by the colours of Valentine's Day, I guess. I wanted to do something that I would like legitimately wear on Valentine's Day. Um, and it was kind of, it's become a bit of a chit chat get ready with me because I do kind of ramble my way through it and I wasn't 100% sure where I was going. But in the end, we came up with this and I really, really love it. And I think it's just something that's so wearable. I think it would also suit a lot of different skin tones, but um, this is how it looks on my very fair skin. And yeah, so it's kind of like a nice sort of peachy soft eye and a nude lip. Very, very basic. But as you can see, it looks beautiful with like a little black dress, um, which is like the, you know, clothing basic attire of a date night. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get into it. So I'm going to start out with a primer and I'm just going to use this little um, sample primer I have from Smashbox. It just says primer light on it so I can't remember exactly what primer it is. I'll put exactly what it is in the description below um, but it's kind of like a thick kind of white primer. I've really been enjoying using it and a little bit goes a pretty long way so the sample pot's been lasting me ages. Now I've gone back to an old favourite for foundation I'm using. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and this is in 0.5. I love this foundation especially for something like a date night because it's really natural looking. I think when you, um, I mean you can wear whatever makeup you want on a date but for me I like to look um, presentable and dolled up but still kind of like my natural features are showing through. Then I'm going in with concealer and I'm going to use my Tarte, Tarte, sounds like I'm from Invercargill, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. And I'm just going to like dot, oh you can't really dot a tiny bit eh, <laughs> it's so intense. Um, I'm just going to cover my breakouts, then I just like to add a little bit of concealer down my nose because I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage just on my nose but I try not to put it too much on my cheeks where I want my natural kind of freckles to show through. And lastly I just dot a little bit directly under the eye, as I say don't bring it down too far if you want your skin to look more natural because that will cover up all your freckles. And then back in with the beauty blender. And make the beauty blender face. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yeah, Amelia, that was for you. That will give you a nice bit of coverage under the eyes without looking too heavy. The beauty blender helps to stop the concealer looking really heavy, um, but it just puts it where you need it, and that way you can still see my freckles and stuff on my cheeks. I'm not going to powder my face today because the Tarte Shape Tape does set really well on its own, and the Urban Decay also doesn't really need a powder. Maybe if you're really oily, you could add one. But usually I only use powder not so much to make my foundation last, but to make my concealer last. But I find the Shape Tape just lasts so, so well. So. That's why I don't need it now. I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna use my Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder in Light. I can't get past this, eh? I keep picking it up. Such a good powder. Yeah. I'm also gonna use my NARS uh, Laguna Bronzer, which I haven't used in a while. And I'm just going to kind of go over where I put that contour, but like just above it. And then bring the color up around my forehead because we're just warming the complexion especially since I need it because I'm a bit too warm on my body no skin cancer for blush I'm gonna go on with something really natural so I'm gonna use my benefit Dallas blush and I love this one because it's kind of like a nothingless mauvey color it's really beautiful and this is my Surat Beauty blush brush which is the best damn blush brush you'll ever ever spend your hard-earned cash on which you'll need a lot of it. It's pretty ridiculously pricey brush, but it's so soft. Um, I'm gonna use this highlighter by Elamasca because I haven't used this in a tutorial yet. It's the Elamasca Beyond Powder in OMG. And it's a really soft kind of champagne color, very similar sort of tone to Mary Luminizer by The Balm. But it's a little bit more subtle than that, and I quite like this for a really natural look. If you were having a pretty chilled kind of Valentine's Day, like going for a picnic or something really like low key, um, something like this sort of highlight, it would be nice because it's a bit more subtle. It doesn't scream like glazed donut face. 
I've used that joke before, that's really sad, Ella. But it just adds a really beautiful glow without looking heavy. And I think this highlighter would be really nice on more mature skins as well. Um, if you've got a lot of pores and a lot of texture on your skin or fine lines, you want to pick a highlighter that isn't too like, bam. And I feel like this just gives a really beautiful soft golden glow, but it's a pale gold. It is wearable on pale skin. I always find highlight looks so much better in real life than in a viewfinder. I'm just going to skip my brows because it's kind of boring and you've seen it all before, but I'm going to use my Chi Chi Brow Pomade for your information. Also popping on a little bit of the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. And this is in the colour Neutral Brown. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette because this is back in stock. I think it's back in stock in Australia now too. Yeah, Jan 31st. And this video is going to go up just before Valentine's Day. So this will have just re-released in Australia on mecca.com.au. Um, if it's still available, I'll put a link to it down below because it is definitely worth it in my opinion. I think it's such a beautiful palette. First of all, it smells like peaches and it's like a fake peach scent, which I love, but a lot of people don't like. They don't like the fact that it smells fake. However, to me, it just smells like peach lollies, and I think peach lollies are delicious. Oh, um, for you Americans, lollies is what we call candy in New Zealand, and British people call lollies sweets. So um, if you know that lingo, sweets or candy, when I say lollies, that's what I mean. You've probably all seen the inside of it heaps of times, but it's really nice neutral colours, which I love because I love neutral palettes, but then you do get those little pops of peach. I wouldn't be keen on an overly, like, a peach palette that was full of just peach colors you couldn't do a lot with it so I personally think it's a really nice selection just before we begin I'm gonna put on my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base pro prime smudge proof eyeshadow base why is it such a long name because this stuff really helps my eyeshadows like last a lot longer I don't really have overly oily eyelids but um, I do find that this really does help make my eyeshadows last a really long time. It's a really good product. So I'm going to start with the colour Peaches and Cream on a big fluffy brush and just kind of put this all over the lid and blend it up a little bit. This is kind of like just a hint darker than my skin tone. Oh, it pretty much is my skin tone, I guess. Then I'm going to take the colour Puree, which is a beautiful kind of warm tan colour on a big fluffy brush and just really work that into the outer sort of socket. I'm literally just making this up as we go. I'm seeing where my artistic abilities take me. Then I'm gonna take the color Georgia, which is a soft matte sort of dusky pink, and just kind of like blend that through that color and in the crease. It'll just sort of soften it a little bit and drag the color a little bit into my inner corner. I feel like the colours in this palette are really subtle, like a lot of these lighter colours are quite subtle but they really do do something. <laughs> I'm going to take the colour Luscious, which is this sort of shimmery kind of rose goldy sort of shade and a flat shader brush and put that on my lid. I'm just going to wet my brush with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This works really well to like make your eyeshadows last longer too. Yes, that's exactly the colour I was hoping it would look like on the lid. You know sometimes you dip into a shadow expecting it to look like a certain colour and then it goes on and you're like that's not the colour at all. It's sort of a real coppery rose gold. Um, you know like when you go into a homeware store and say this is rose gold but it's kind of more copper that's kind of what this looks like. Sort of coppery peachy rose gold. I'm just going to take a little bit of this colour Summer Yum which is a really really sort of warm terracotta brown colour and my more sort of precise um, blending brush by Hourglass. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that on the outer part of my eye. I forget names. And then just take a clean blending brush and just kind of soften the edges. Then I'm going to do some highlighting and I'm going to take the Makeup Geek highlighter in Lit and just a flat sort of shader brush. And I'm just going to add this to the inner corner. I find that using like base highlighters is like inner corner highlight. Um, a little bit more natural than like a really shimmery eyeshadow. I'm just going to pop some of my Chi Chi Eye Brightener on the waterline just to widen my eyes. Then I'm just jumping back to my peach palette, going in with the colour Summer Yum and just with a pencil brush just going to 
smoke out my lower lash line just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to take my Zoeva Graphic Eyes Pencil in Glance and just put this on the upper sort of outer part of the top lash line and smudge it in with a pencil brush. So you just put a little bit of product and then sort of start blending that a little bit. Okay, and doing your liner that way is going to look a lot softer than using a liquid, but you could use a liquid if you like that look. I just wanted to go for something a little bit softer today. Then I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm using Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and I'll pop on some falsies as well, and I'm using the Manicare Miranda Lashes. Spritz my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then for lips today, I'm going to try and use one of the new... Um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Collection Lip Combos. By the time this video goes live, this collection will have released in Mecca stores and online at mecca.com.au. It's the new Bare Minerals Gen Nude Collection, which is basically like a bunch of lip products like lip pencils, lip glosses, lipsticks that are all really like nudey colours and neutral colours, which is such my jam. So I'm so excited when um, Mecca sent me a few to try out. This one is the Gen Nude Liner in Borderline which kind of, yeah, it looks like it's going to be slightly deeper than my, eh, than my natural skin colour. So I'm just going to overline my lips slightly. Cool. And if you wanted to channel the 90s, you could just leave it at that. And then some lipstick. So I think I'm going to go in with this one. It's called Wink, and it's a sort of natural, nudie, pinky colour. Is it going to be too washed out? We'll soon find out. <laughs> These smell like a hot chocolate. Oh, they smell so nice. Okay, and then I might add a little gloss on top. I'm going to take the colour Sugar, which is a gloss, and just put this like in the centre. Oh, actually, I might put it all over. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, I love this gloss colour a lot. So I haven't put it all the way to the edge, but I've pretty much put it on like majority of my lips. I like to avoid the very outer part of my lip, otherwise it kind of looks like you're drooling. So that's why I tend to put lip gloss like just in the middle kind of two thirds. I just blotted on a moist like makeup wipe. That was a bad idea. So this is the final look here. I think it actually turned out really, really beautiful. It was quite different to where I expected myself to go today, but I love it. I think this is really appropriate for a daytime date look. It looks like glamorous, but still really natural, neutral tones. I think this would be beautiful for an evening look as well. As to say, if you wanted to deepen the eye even more, you could have added some of those deeper, darker browns to the outside, which would really just take it to that next level. So I think if you're stumped on what to wear on Valentine's Day and you need some inspiration, I think a look like this would be perfect, especially if you just pair it with a little black dress and you're set to go, you'll look classy, classic not overdone but ready for any sort of occasion so if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it then definitely give this video a thumbs up for me and if you're new here then very warm welcome and please subscribe and if you are a regular subscriber and you want to be notified via email of my uh, videos when they go live you can bell it and click the little notification bell as well so i wish you all a very happy valentine's day if you do celebrate valentine's day and until next time i hope you guys have a wonderful few days thank you for watching and i'll see you then bye mm -hmm.